In NHL news, the race for last appears to be as intense as the race for first. Are teams trying to be bad for Bedard? Bad for Bedard. That could be a song. No, 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 wait, I was kidding. He's the general manager of an NHL team. Winning the Stanley Cup, forever his dream. But before you come first here, man, you gotta be last. And he knows a kid who turned things around fast. Be crappy for Connor, be bad for Bedard. Losing is easy, but winning is hard. I've seen some good ones, man, but this kid's next level. Like all of the Hughes brothers wrapped in one devil. Players won't take, no, that just think their way. But GMs can let all their black aces play. So pick up your phone, call Kyle, call Ken. Trade all your free agents, start over again. Be crappy for Connor, be bad for a dog. Losing is easy, but winning is hard. You don't need no scouts or analytica. Just watch this goal against Slovakia. Bernard back with it. Slides in again. Bernard talks right in and back in. Get my top score off, can't play too sick. Trading my captain for three draft picks. Call up a goalie from the ECHL. Got Bob McKenzie on the cow I knew what needs to be done to be the guy who drafts number one. And if I don't win, man, don't be silly. I'll take Leo the Sweet or Adam Bantilly. Big phone balls are bouncing. 25.5% shot. The first overall selection in the NHL draft is. Be crappy for Connor, be bad for the dark. Losing is easy, but winning is hard. I've seen some good ones, man, but this kid's next level. Like all of the huge brothers wrapped in one devil. Be crappy for Connor, Connor, Connor. No point in honor. Playoffs is no place to be, so I'm trying to come last, but don't tell Gary.